Well, it's been a while, hasn't it, everybody? It has been a while. Um, welcome to another vlog, another CDM vlog. It's been the first one since Barcelona, Catalonia, at the end of 2021, where I was at the circuit with Clio Cup Europe. I hope you've all been well. I keep looking over there, because that's where you used to be, all the way over there. You're now in the sort of middle of my windscreen, a bit lower down, so I can still see over it. Don't worry, officer. So I'm getting back into the flow of all of this now. This season has gone by so, so quickly already that I couldn't even have begun to think about where I was going to start with vlogs. Leo stuff's been fantastic. Truck stuff has been fantastic. And that's what you join me for this weekend. Uh, we're off to the Nürburgring. We're going to be commentating, or well, I'm going to be commentating on the fourth race meeting of the 2022 Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship, and it's the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix. So it's like their big event. It is the main, main event of the championship in most people's eyes. You know, it's all German drivers and all the German supporters all together. Uh, the organizers are all German as well, and I, I love Germany. You know, I'm so excited to go back. I really cannot wait. One thing about it, though, that is really annoying me already, as you can probably tell, actually, is the squinting from Chaz's face, because I've left my Ray-Bans in the back of my dad's car from when I came back from Budapest on Monday night, and he's now at the Royal International Air Tattoo in Fairford. So I'm not going to see them for a good week. Anyway, I'm super excited. It's good to be back vlogging again. The quality of this might not be perfect. Um, I'm not using my usual microphone at this point. I'd normally have it on here, but that's in my bag and all in there. It did sort of hit me. Have I actually put the memory card in the audio recorder? Not quite sure I have. So there may be just GoPro audio for this weekend. However, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun and I've been roped into, I say roped into, I've been uh, asked to commentate on the Prototype Cup Germany as well, which is mainly LMP3 cars. It's a really exciting championship. I've been doing all my research on all of that as well. It's gonna be good to be at an ADAC event again. It's been a long time since I've been at one. The last one was the Nürburgring 24 hours in 2020. So it's certainly exciting, really exciting. We're on our way down to Heathrow Airport. So I'm driving all the way down there. I paid 186 quid for parking, yeah. Eurowings canceled the original flight. So originally on this morning, Thursday morning, I was gonna drive down to Oxford where Barbara lives. She, she's the press officer for the championship. She was gonna drive us over to Heathrow, park the car there, and then we would get the first flight. Eurowings canceled said flight. So Barbara still got a sort of morning one, but we've done it in a way that I could take Harry to school this morning and drive myself down over the course of the afternoon. It does, however, mean that I'm flying at 8 p.m due to land in Cologne at about 25 past 10, where HJ is gonna pick me up. And then hopefully it's all plain sailing and what do you want now? No, no, it's telling me that I've not got my seatbelt on. Please don't start doing that a lot. I'm hopefully gonna enjoy myself if it's all plain sailing. It probably won't be. Um, security queues at Heathrow have been huge, but it's one of the only ways to get there really. I can't face Manchester Airport at the moment. I just can't bear it. It's quite painful if anything. Air travel at the minute is just painful in so many ways. Oh, don't you start. So what have I got to do now to shut you up? I have got my seatbelt on. I think it's because my bag weighs so much. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, we're on the M6 now. I'm on here for 32 miles before we get onto the toll. There's a van trying to pull into the front of my car. Cheers, mate. I'm still squinting because my eyes are killing me. And it doesn't even, I bet it doesn't even look that bright on the footage, but it's honestly really bright today. It's just that really weird day where it's not a completely light blue sky, but the sky's just white. It's really, really annoying. I'm probably going to stop at some services or something and just buy some cheap sunglasses on the way. It says that I'll get there about 10 past three, which isn't too bad to be fair. Uh, the flight is until eight, so I mean, I'm aiming to get there just after four o'clock. We'll continue the journey on. Um, not sure if I'll do another bit of footage while I'm in the car actually on the way down. Probably just do it when we get to the airport, so I'll see you in a bit. Hello again. Just leaving the services now. I'm not quite sure which services this is actually. I've decided against the idea of getting sunglasses from somewhere like this. Having Ray-Bans has turned me into a bit of a sunglasses snob because <laughs> I think they all look <laughs> and they were like still 25 to 50 quid. So I just wasn't having any of it. So I'm either gonna be blind all weekend or if I get paid in time while I'm in the airport, I'm just gonna buy some more Ray-Bans as a bit of a treat to myself. It's currently 25 to three, and it's now saying I'm gonna get there about 
half past three. I've even put on the, uh, the parking that I'm going to arrive at 4 p.m. anyway, so I can't go in until that point. Now it's time to get back on the motorway, crack on, and we will get to Heathrow's, well, as and when. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here. I arrived just before four o'clock. So it was a little bit early for me parking, so I had to do another loop round. I've actually had quite a good time since I got here, to be honest with you. Through security in about half an hour, and I've won this thing. Um, I've won a bang and it lives in water bottle for doing a, a time on the simulator, which I've got a picture of. It was on a set of course of competizione, which I know quite well. So now I'm waiting for my flight. There's been quite a few of them on the board cancelled so far. So I'm hoping that mine doesn't become one of those. I don't really know at this point, but still, we'll see, shall we? Anyway, my phone's ringing, so I'm gonna go. Cologne, I've started doing this again where I take my mask off at the beginning of these vlogs, haven't I? I've arrived in Cologne, I'm just waiting by the road now for HJ to turn up. Not a clue what car I'm looking for, not even sure if he's going to turn up down here on foot or anything. Is this him now? No. I've just had a message come through though, it's probably him saying, I'm here, I can't find you. Yeah, I've got a missed call off him, so be right back. So it turns out that HJ I think has already been passed just as I was coming out and now he's had to go back round again. So it's great to be back in Germany. I've met so many great German people already, even in the airport at Heathrow and then two on the plane. Really, really chuffed already and I just can't wait to get this weekend underway properly. So next time you see me, I'll probably be in the car with HJ. Finally on route now, finally on route. This legend has picked me up after what's been <laughs> a very, very long day. So I don't, where are we even going? Are we going to the hotel or are we going to yours? Um, no, um, uh, I'm living in Frankfurt and you need to get to the um, Nürburgring actually straight away and you're going on one of the hotels. Oh, is it like the houses that they've got? No, it's a oh. different one. I just need to switch on the light real quick. I hope I still have the ticket. Of course, <laughs> this is another thing. If you fly in the next time, you're flying into a proper airport but not Cologne hopefully. <laughs> And I'm here at the hotel and I've just walked in, literally just now, my bags are only just down on the ground. It's like having my own, own house, like my own little apartment. It's absolutely brilliant. It's massive, like it's huge in here. The roof's really tall. But look at this, this is the bathroom. So if I put that right in the corner there, it goes on all the way down there. Look at that. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's massive in here. And I was not expecting it because it's quite small in the sort of area around it, like the corridor's really small and everything. But this is ace. There's a McLaren and a Porsche outside, so it's clearly not that bad a place. But wow, what an amazing place to be. So, it is time for bed, admittedly. I'm just gonna get settled in, try and go to sleep. Um, I'm gonna text everybody, see what the plan is in the morning, and go from there. So for now, I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, good morning indeed. Slept really well, I um, went to bed quite late though to be honest with you after I'd arrived here, I think just past midnight anyway. Really comfy bed, really nice room, it's just really hot in here, that's the really weird thing. Can't quite figure out the aircon or anything, shower's dead good. I'm just waiting for a text now just to see where anybody is, I don't really know where anyone else is that I'm going to be sort of going to the circuit with or working with. Um, I suppose that's one of the problems with turning up so late I guess. First day at the Nürburgring today. Uh, there's no racing going on as such, but we do have qualifying this afternoon. We're just not broadcasting it, basically. We're only doing broadcasts on Saturday and Sunday. So that's two races Saturday, qualifying and Super Bowl Sunday, and then two races Sunday as well. And I've got to factor into that the Prototype Cup as well, so I need not forget about that one. That's going to be really good to see uh, LMP3 cars in the flesh once again. I'm here, finally at the Nürburgring, really, really excited. Just had a quick walk around and spoke to some of the TV guys about what the plan is and what we're going to be doing. Now it's time just to sort of walk behind the pit lane, try and get into the pit lane because the truck practice is on at the moment and then get ready for some prototypes later on. I think we're just doing a bit of rehearsal today, so nothing too strenuous. We've got LMP3 cars in this prototype cup. Here's one of them in this garage here, you can hear it. Oh, you can't see because they've closed the door. <laughs> but still, they make a hell of a noise and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to commentating on them. It's a beautiful day, it's not the warmest, so I'm sort of regretting leaving my hoodie at the, uh, the hotel, but I'll be all right. I'll be right, I'm British, I'm hard. <laughs> well, that 
time's a short visit to the pit lane. I've been told that I can't go in the pit lane now without a uh, pink vest. So time to go and grab one. There you go, does it suit me? By the time I've got all that sorted out, the truck practice is just finished now, so there's not really much point me wearing it or going to the pit lane, but still. They've got some awesome stuff on show, actually. I'll take you through some of this. And they've got some of these really old school racing trucks here as well. Of course, the Audi R8 LMS. The number one machine. Beautiful, beautiful livery. Looks very good indeed. But look at these, look at this old Gerd Korber racing truck. Absolutely fantastic looking thing. Really cool old school liveries as well. The Norbrempt branding on it as well looks absolutely fantastic. And honestly, I would not like to go racing in these things because I think safety back then was a little bit, a uh, little bit less prominent maybe, but I mean, look at the size of the bumper on it. It's huge. What a cool looking thing though, eh? What a cool looking thing. It's great to be out here doing this again. I'm going to keep saying that throughout the whole video. I'm going to take a wander down now. See who I can bump into. Maybe take the vest off now. I don't need it as uh, pit lane access isn't really necessary for me. Is Jochen Hahn. I've made a way into... <laughs> this isn't a picture, this is just a video. <laughs> <laughs> so we better behave, baby. Yeah, two legends, two legends. <laughs> Only question, where is Christina? <laughs> <laughs> to go and film a TV segment up there. <laughs> They've just got her in the cherry picker and bless her, she hates heights, but the commitment that woman has for her job. I've got some sunglasses, by the way. I got sunglasses from Jamie's team. I've lost my Ray-Bans, I don't know where they are, annoyingly. So now I've got some more, but some of the trucks on show here are absolutely phenomenal. You know, it's absolutely awesome. I'm in my element, walking around, loving life. Great weather, great people. This is what I wanted. Here she is, madam. The Avico S-Way LNG. This is the same one I had a ride in when I was at Mizano at the end of last year. And it is an absolute powerhouse. I bloody love it. It's the one that Frank the Tank drives around the circuit, which is our pace truck for the season. Awesome bit of kit. doing all the SL truck sport stuff. We'll see if we can get her in shot actually. Oh, she's running away. <laughs> the best one. The best one. The best. Is that why he's, not, is that why he's number two?
I just started filming as you said that. <laughs> You've got to delete that right now. <laughs> So I've just had some lunch and it was absolutely wonderful. The catering is fantastic and they're all looking after us very, very well. Look at the vibe of this place though, man. It is absolutely awesome, you know. There is such a good vibe going on here. The weather's beautiful. The views out over there are just amazing. I've tried Red, Red Bull for the first time actually, which is quite nice. But yeah, honestly, look at this place, man. It is so, so cool. It's easily become one of my favorite circuits, this. You know, I visited here um, a few years ago with the 24 hours and that was cool enough. But in these sorts of conditions, you know, with this sort of vibe like there is behind the trucks, it's just so cool. Uh, it's quite windy though, so you probably can't hear me very well right now. I'm going to have a bit more of a wander and uh, see what I can find. Okay, so now is the time when they're doing this game that I've mentioned to a few people called Go and Stop. I feel a bit awkward right now because everybody else is in there and I'm with the media vest able to walk wherever I want. It's great. Here they come. Oh. So the aim of the game basically is they've got three bollards in a little triangle shape and they go head to head down the straight and they have to hit the first bollard but not the second pair of bollards basically and they do it as a knockout tournament between like all the people in their show trucks but they also do it excuse you they do it with some of the race trucks as well but it can knacker the clutches and the diffs and so on so sometimes they don't want to do it basically i never thought i'd be this up close and personal to it i thought i'd have to be up there in the grandstands with everybody here are the cones then i'll show you exactly how it looks so they've got the three bollards and they have to slam on hit the first one but not the second one if you hit the second set then you're out you've got to just be the one to hit them first here we go How ridiculous is that? <laughs> I knew it was going to be good fun watching this, but I'm absolutely in my element. They're all mental. There they go. Hello, fans. Yeah, Leute, here wächst a new Stern So because I've been a good boy and I've worn my media vest, I've been able to come over this side now. There's a humongous crowd, which is just awesome. But you can see all the way down the straight now, with my car cameraman on this side. And I think the racing trucks are about to start up now. They're all lined up at the far end, but you can see how big these bollards are. I'm in the wrong lens mode, I've just realized, so sorry. Clemens Hecker's next up, and he went flying through these a minute ago. So I'm excited to see whether he's going to do the same now. <laughs> so 
this is the podium for going stop basically. They line them up for the podium. recording it's decided to do it on its own videos <laughs> nämlich what Jess there's a saying what happens in the Mühlbach Schneife stays in the Mühlbach Schneife. Was <laughs> 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 too many beers. 